depending on how your unit is powered, you may need to refuel, charge, or change a battery or cylinder during your shift. This should only be done in designated areas and only by someone who's been properly trained. Do I need to tell you that no one should ever smoke in this area? Start by using proper personal protective equipment. This may include eye and face protection, gloves, and an apron. Know where the eye wash station is, as well as the shower and other emergency equipment, like spill cleanup supplies. If you're changing the battery on an electric forklift, position the forklift in the changing area, turn the engine off, and set the brake. Make sure the battery is securely attached to the hoist before lifting. Stand clear as the battery's moved in and out of position. When you charge a battery, be sure the ventilation system is working properly. If the battery's being charged on the forklift, uncover the battery compartment to prevent heat or hydrogen gas buildup. Turn off the battery charger before connecting it to the battery. And make certain no metal objects contact the battery terminals. If you're diluting concentrated sulfuric acid with water, Always add acid to the water, not water to the acid. Adding water to acid can cause a violent reaction or explosion. However, if you need to add water to top off a battery, you can do it safely with the proper precautions because the acid in a forklift battery is already diluted. Wear safety goggles and a face shield, plus gloves and an apron to protect against electrolyte splash or spray. For forklifts powered by liquid petroleum gas, or LPG, you'll refuel by changing cylinders. Wear protective gloves to avoid freeze burn from contact with LPG. Before you start, close the fuel line valve on the cylinder. Then, run the engine until it stops to empty the connection hose. Shut off the ignition. Disconnect the hose and the holding straps and remove the empty cylinder. Never use metal tools to change a cylinder. One small spark is all it takes to ignite a fire or explosion. Replace the empty cylinder with a full one in the proper position. The locating pin should engage the hole in the cylinder handle so the relief valve is straight up in the 12 o'clock position. Then connect the holding straps, tighten the connecting nut, and check the hose to make sure it's tight. Now, slowly open the valve on the cylinder part way and check for leaks. The key words, smell, listen, and look. You can also use a solution of soap and water to test the seal for leaks. Never use matches or a flame. If the valve leaks, tighten the nut and continue. If it still leaks, change the cylinder. If it still leaks after that, have the hose changed or repaired. Once there are no leaks, slowly open the valve all the way. Secure the cylinder. Start the engine, and you're off and running. For gasoline or diesel forklifts, make sure you have the proper fuel. Turn the engine off and set the parking brake. Don't overfill the tank. Finally, replace the fuel cap and clean up any spilled fuel before starting the engine. Anytime you're charging a battery, changing a battery, or LPG cylinder, or refueling a forklift, be absolutely certain you know the safest way to do it. If you have any doubts or questions, don't take the risk. Ask your supervisor. <laughs>